the University of Wyoming Alumni Association, formed on March 26, 1895, held its first annual banquet and business meeting for alumni of the University of Wyoming on June 20, 1895, at the Ladies' Study Hall. In fact, the school colors of brown and game day gold were established that day as well. From then until 1922, the University of Wyoming Alumni Association hosted annual gatherings for former students and alumni of the University of Wyoming, centered around commencement. These gatherings usually took place in the summer months, primarily in June, and activities took place over five days. Despite previous years of alumni gatherings, October of 1922 is attributed as the official documented date of the University of Wyoming's first homecoming. Dr. Samuel H. Knight, an alumnus of the University of Wyoming and professor of geology, served as the president of the Alumni Association from 1921 to 1924 and served on the athletic committee. Knight was keen on the national movement of coinciding football with homecoming celebrations and was instrumental in collaborating with the Alumni Association to move the alumni celebrations to coincide with the first football game of the 1922 season. Part of this effort, including having an official setting for alumni, former and current students, faculty, staff, and the community to enjoy the games while creating a revenue stream to continue the athletic programs. Although Wyoming football origins date as early as 1893, the football games were played in Prexy's pasture. In 1922, Knight fundraised, used his own monies and sweat equity and community connections to establish Corbett Field as the new football field. Knight also worked diligently with alumni and students to finish building the bleachers on the old Corbett Field in time for the game. Beginning in 1922, the homecoming celebrations evolved and included class reunions, open houses, the homecoming dance, homecoming parades, and the football game. Homecoming served as a way for the alumni, current students, and the community to come together to celebrate. In 1953, the University of Wyoming Alumni Association became the coordinator of most aspects of homecoming, and in 1970, the UWAA assumed leadership of the traditional homecoming parade. The University of Wyoming Alumni Association's sponsorship and management of homecoming is widely appreciated on campus and beyond. Hello, University of Wyoming alumni and friends. The 2020 homecoming is unlike any we've hosted since President Sam Knight moved the homecoming celebrations to a fall football game weekend in 1922. When Gabrielle and I first arrived in Laramie this summer, we were so looking forward to this year's homecoming when we would welcome thousands of passionate Cowboy fans back to campus. We know there's nothing more special than to see our community blanketed with the brown and gold as our alumni enjoy the homecoming parade, celebrate and honor our distinguished alumni, honor our 50th reunion class, and cheer on the Cowboys football team. While we'll miss these in-person activities this fall, I'm excited about keeping homecoming traditions and engagement alive virtually, and actually increasing accessibility for all UW alumni and friends in their own homes around the world. We look forward to everyone continuing our homecoming traditions with us and restoring in-person campus celebrations in 2021. I wish you all the very best and continued good health. I hope to see you all next fall, if not sooner. Hello, I'm Keener Fry, Executive Director of the University of Wyoming Alumni Association. In the 10 years in my current role, homecoming has always been one of the most special times and frankly, one of my favorite times of the year. It is a time when the brown and gold spirit rises to a whole new level on our campus. And it's because of the energy and enthusiasm that thousands of Wyoming graduates, former students, and friends bring back to campus. We thank you for all of that that you have exhibited for many, many years. While we are unable to visit and to be at homecoming in the traditional way this year on our campus, I do invite you to take advantage 
of the virtual homecoming that we will be offered and some of the elements of that. You can follow and know exactly what you may want to participate in and see how we are trying to bring thousands of alumni from across the country and the world to still, to still celebrate in this unusual time. So follow us on our homecoming website, and that's just at uwyo.edu slash alumni. You'll find all you need right there, and you'll see the buttons to click and the like for homecoming. But for now, I hope you enjoy this virtual offering, and you will also stand, begin clapping your hands, and sing along and show your UW pride as we all sing Ragtime Cowboy Joe. He always sings Ragtime to the Cowboy Joe. Happy Lord and Sarah Long. Of course, it's pretty good. Of course, it's got to sing the Cowboy Joe. And all of you to be the Cowboy Joe. Kim Chestnut, Vice President of Student Affairs, coming to you today, wanting to be part of the homecoming festivities. And so uh, maybe I'll just start by acknowledging the wild ride that we are on in 2020. So there's no doubt that this fall is unique in so many ways for our first year students and for all of our students. But I'll tell you one thing, we're doing everything we can to make being together at some level possible. So it's almost ironic that we would put more effort into that this year and, and have less actual engagement than usual. Um, so we're just, we're so pleased for the classes that we have where we get to be together and the limited engagement opportunities that we have. Um, because as you likely recall, from your own undergraduate or graduate experience here, and through those that you have helped support, engagement is huge. Oh, feeling connected to this institution, which really helps develop that sense of belonging and affinity for University of Wyoming, is a huge part of the collegiate experience. And of course, every fall, homecoming is part of that. And so even though usually, that involves some type of football game and um, big opportunities to be together in social groups. It's not necessary. It's nice. And it's not that we wouldn't prefer it, but it's not necessary to come together and give recognition to our institution that we all love so much and want to give thanks to the community that shared our time together there and that we continue to share time with people who are associated. And so just wanting to, to say thanks for being part of homecoming in this new and different way. Now, don't let me miss letting you know how much we miss you. And that, oh, town comes alive at homecoming with our parade and the games and 
tailgates. And so our alums who travel from across the country, sometimes the world, to join us in community and in celebration is greatly missed. And so uh, we're already look forward to opportunities where we'll be back together in a little bit more of a traditional style. But this year, we, we take the moment to say, gosh, still love that place, still love being a member and, and a community supporter. And so that's, you know, a little bit about homecoming in Laramie. I guess I, of course, from student affairs and from all of our students, just want to say thanks to our alum who make opportunities so regularly to connect with students, either as a mentor or for career placement, maybe to just check in and see how they're doing, or the future UW community members that are part of your hometown, where you say, how are you? What are you thinking? How are you doing? How can I help you? And so we will be endlessly thankful, we already are, for the many, many ways, big and small, that you continue to invest in the success of this institution and the many students who get to be graduates and successful professionals who come from the University of Wyoming. So I can't wait until maybe we'll do this in person. Um, and until then, I just keep wishing everybody healthy and well lives and looking forward to what comes next. So go Pokes. Thanks, everybody. Hello, everyone. Whether you're joining us from the Laramie campus or virtually, we at the University of Wyoming are so excited to have you all back learning and participating in all of these things that make the university great. I'm Riley Talamantes, and I'm the president of the Associated Students at the University of Wyoming, which is your student government. And our mission at ASUW is to serve students in the best manner possible by addressing student concerns that you all may have this year. And we're here to be the voice of the students and support you all in any of the concerns that you bring forward to us. My office door will be open during phase two and phase three. So if you all just want to stop by and chat, ask a bit about ASUW, or just say hello, you're more than welcome to do that. Our offices are located in the basement of the union by the gardens. And also ASUW does have various engagement opportunities for all of you to have an enriching semester and keep you involved and busy on campus. We're looking to fill some vacancies in our Senate as well as looking for students who are eager to serve on our weekly committees. It's not a strong and time consuming commitment, but a way for you all to kind of get a grasp on what is happening in our student body and how um, your student government is able to serve you. And engagement opportunities are still here at the University of Wyoming and we all hope to feel inclined that you all would participate in these. Homecoming is something that ASUW is very involved in and we're excited that we do get the opportunity to celebrate some of our um, other and socially distance safe events this year. We hope to still host our horseshoe hunt, which is just a scavenger hunt that we have all around the university and other giveaways. So we hope to be able to, you know, adjust to the times that we're in. And we know COVID has disrupted the way that we have traditionally ran these events, but it's not stopping us from giving you all um, a safe engagement and community building activities this year as well. So tough days are ahead, but you know, following the rules, sticking together, and caring about the health and well-being of your community is really how we'll fight through this and come out stronger on the other side. So thank you and happy homecoming.
happy 50th anniversary to the College of Agriculture class of 1970. When you were students, all of our departments were housed in the Ag Building. The Annex sold ice cream from the UW Dairy. Professors Mackey, Beadle, Kircher, Vanvig, and Alley were familiar names, and the Wyoming Territorial Prison was the Animal Science Livestock Farm. Some things remain the same. Range students still take plant identification classes. Microbiology students still have a lab once a week. Cowboy Joe handlers are also still ag students, and the ag economic students still groan about their commodities classes. What is constant is that our students 50 years ago or now are cowboys through and through. We look forward to seeing you on campus in 2021 and sharing with you the many reasons why the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources remains a leader on campus and a place we can all call home. Congratulations, class of 1970. Hello, I am Danny Dale. I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations, class of 1970. It's amazing to think it's been 50 years since you walked across the stage and graduated from UW. I think 1970 is an awesome year. I, that's my birth year, so we have a special connection in that sense. Uh, I hope you can come visit us in fall 2021. I call these COVID crazy days. Things are upside down on campus, but we're doing the best to make uh, the best of this current situation. If you come visit us, I'm happy to show you some of the excellent facilities in the college. I direct the UW Planetarium that's gone digital. It'd be fun if you can uh, take in a show. The Visual Arts Building, it's pretty new. It's an excellent facility. Same thing with the Buchanan Center for Performing Arts. It's had a complete makeover. We're building the Science Initiative Building. Um, that'll be pretty close to done if you come visit us pretty soon. So I hope you can take the opportunity to come see us and I'll be happy to give you a tour. Um, UW is a, has a special place in my heart and I'm sure it does in your heart as well. So please stay healthy and stay strong and go Pokes. Hello everyone. My name is Leslie Rush. I serve as interim Dean for the College of Education here at the University of Wyoming. I'm so thrilled to have the opportunity to provide a greeting to our UW alums and in particular to the class of 1970. For those of you from the class of 1970, congratulations on your upcoming 50th reunion. Since you attended UW, of course, there have been quite a lot of changes, but one thing hasn't changed, and that's particularly true of the College of Education, and that is the love of our students, faculty, staff, and of course, our alumni for the University of Wyoming, the State of Wyoming, and the Brown and Gold. I hope that the next time you're in Laramie, you will think about stopping by the Education Building or McQuinney Hall to say hello to us in the College of Education. I'm sure that you have fond memories of your time as a student here at UW. And though some of the faces might have changed, please know that we are so full of pride uh, in terms of you and your amazing work as a UW alum. We're going through some difficult times right now, but I hope that you will continue to remember the importance of kindness and support for each other in these difficult days. I'm looking forward to seeing you on campus next fall and go Pokes. Hello, I'm Cameron Wright, Interim Dean of the College of Engineering and Applied Science here at the University of Wyoming. I wanna congratulate you for 50 years since you graduated here from the university. Now, when I, when I say it out loud like that, I know it sounds like a long time, but I'll bet in your heart it was just yesterday. Now, I'm, I'm really sorry that the coronavirus pandemic and travel restrictions and everything that's going on right now prevent you from coming and celebrating with us homecoming on campus. But we really look forward to you coming next year in the fall of 21. I personally, and I, I know I speak for the whole college, I really hope you can come and be with us and celebrate. We want to talk to you and hear some of your stories from back then. I know I'm looking forward to it. I just want you to know that, you know, you look around here on campus and we may have a few shiny new buildings and all that, but what really hasn't changed are the people and the spirit. The cowboy spirit is still here. It's still strong. We really, really want you to come and be part of it because ultimately, go Pokes. Dear class of 1970, congratulations on your 50th college reunion. 
We're disappointed that you can't celebrate this milestone on the Laramie campus, where 50 years ago you left your mark in the libraries, laboratories, and maybe even a few local bars. We're keeping all these places alive for you, and we want to welcome you back for a delayed celebration next fall. As Dean of the Honors College, I'd love to show you around the Guthrie House, home of our college, right at 12th and Ivinson. Honors was a program back in 1970, and we've recently become a college, an interdisciplinary home for high achieving students passionate to make a difference in the world. I always enjoy hearing about what Honors was like back in the day. So for those of you who were in Honors, I invite you to please contact me and tell me some stories. Congratulations again on your anniversary, and we'll hold that date for 2021. Go Pokes. Hi to the class of 1970 at the University of Wyoming. I'm Holly Krekka. I'm the executive director of the School of Energy Resources. Our school did not exist when you were here in 1970. And while much of the university you might find unchanged, we are always constantly evolving and we can't wait to show you around our new building when you are able to join us. See you soon. Greetings from the Faye W. Whitney School of Nursing. I'm Dean Cheryl Smith, and I'd like to congratulate the class of 1970 on their 50th reunion. What a great accomplishment and what a great reason to celebrate. I'm so sorry you can't be here in Wyoming with us, but we look forward to having you here soon, especially those of our nursing alumni. So congratulations again. I hope you get a way to celebrate wherever you are. Take care, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Go Pokes. I wish I was welcoming all the fans and alumni back for homecoming, but unfortunately in this COVID world we live in, we're not going to be doing that. The good news is we do have a football schedule and we will be playing football. And even though there will not be a traditional homecoming, we will play four home games and four road games in the, this coming eight week season. And we are really excited about that. Um, we are disappointed there will be no homecoming. It is a great tradition for the university. It is a great tradition for our students and our student athletes, and we really enjoy the opportunity to play a small role in it. So we wish you all luck, and hopefully we will see you at next year's homecoming. Thank you very much, and go Pokes. Hi, my name is Mindy Eiderdyke, and I'm the Vice President of Marketing for Unawayo Federal Credit Union. We are proud to be the sponsor of Homecoming 2020. As the exclusive credit union of the University of Wyoming and Homecoming Parade Trophy recipient for several years, we're honored to be a part of the homecoming virtual events with the Alumni Association and the UW campus community. We can't wait to celebrate with you in 2021. And trust me, we'll be back better than ever in our brown and gold showing how proud we are to be Wyoming Cowboys and Cowgirls. In the meantime, please enjoy these personalized alumni shout outs and go Pokes. Hi, I'm Cynthia Lemus, University of Wyoming class of 76, 78 and 85. And I'm wearing my dad's sweater from when he played basketball at the University of Wyoming in the 1940s. And I'm here to say happy homecoming and go Pokes! Chase McNamee here, graduating class of 2013 with my bachelor's and 2015 with my master's. And I just wanted to share my favorite UW homecoming memory from the fall of 2015 when it was just one of those unreal, beautiful fall days in Laramie. It was 75 degrees in October and even the leaves had turned game day gold. And I had the privilege of carrying out the homecoming parade with the Y.O. Gold Student Alumni Association. And then we went and watched and cheered on the Pokes as they pulled off a victory in homecoming. And I just want to say go Pokes and have a great homecoming, everyone. Hi, everyone. Здравствуйте, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Delnaza and I've been twice UW alumni. I have graduated with my PhD in Education Literacy Studies this spring 2020. Toast to the class of 2020. Congratulations and happy homecoming. 
My name is Jane Farrell, and I'm a 1977 graduate with a degree in political science. In the fall of 1975, I was part of the Iron Skull organization which sponsored the homecoming scene. That year, there was a very unique entry. It consisted of third floor white, which was an all women's floor, and that was the floor I lived on for three years with close friends. They combined with ninth floor McIntyre, which was an all men's floor, and that's the floor my brother lived on with a great group of guys. They combined together and they sang Neil Diamond's Coming to America under the direction of Jeanette Elliott Hamlin, who was my college roommate. They did a great job, they worked hard, and it was lots of fun. I've had lots of good homecoming memories. Go Pokes! Cheers to my fellow and future fellow graduates of the University of Wyoming. My name is Katherine Crowley. I graduated with my BS in finance in 2002 and my MBA in 2003. 2020 is no doubt a different year for all of us and one that we hope to soon forget. This is our first virtual homecoming, hopefully our last, and it's gonna make next year that much sweeter to be back home in Laramie amongst all of that brown and gold cheering on our Cowboys. Go Pokes. My name is Cindy Vanderwerk. I was graduated from the University of Wyoming in 1951. My favorite homecoming memory is being homecoming queen. In the fall of 1949, I was sponsored by the Kappa Kappa Gammas and have many wonderful memories of my year at uni the university. I'm Jay Carpenter from Denver, Colorado. And I graduated from the University of Wyoming in 1971. In the fall of 1970, the University of Wyoming and the city of Laramie decided not to have a homecoming parade. They did have the homecoming sing in the field house and the fraternity that I belonged to, Sigma Alpha Epsilon, decided to sing the song, I Love a Parade at the homecoming sing. About halfway through the song, we started receiving our standing ovation, which continued well after we sat down after we sang. The following year, they reinstituted the parade Everybody needs a cowboy. Hi, I'm Marilyn Engstrom, class of 69. My favorite homecoming memory is from 1969. It was the year we were celebrating 100 years of college football. Our float won. It was a puppy that said 100 years of rough and ready. And we also won the sing, singing, you got to be a football hero. That was with the Tri-Deltas. Hope everyone has a great homecoming. My name is Todd Scott, class of 92 in 2006. I'm the middle generation of three in my family to be UW alumni. My favorite memories of homecoming are participating with the alumni band and reconnecting with old friends. Go Popes! Mary Ann Thompson here, class of 77. What I'm going to miss most this year about homecoming is not getting together with all my band buddies and playing in the alumni band. This would have been my 40th straight year playing. I guess we'll just put an asterisk next to the year 2020, and I'll see you all next year. Go Pokes!